we call TMO by money hungry. TMO by as a business is looking at shit from a business perspective as they should. So when you see when you see these really dumb events with like top racing when people are spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars, the player base looks at that and says, "Damn. This game is really money hungry." From the business standpoint, they see it as, "Oh, people are responding well to this. Why else would they spend so much money if they didn't like the event?" It's because of that disconnect that we see so much of these shitty events happening. It's literally, no matter how much people will complain online, no matter how much people will message the admins, this isn't changing unless people actually make decisions with their wallet. It, it, it's, it's a huge issue. There was... There, there was quote unquote a boycott not too long ago, maybe about like a week and a half ago, that didn't even last maybe two days, because as soon as as soon as people started saying I'm not spending my money, another event came in and guess what? People just poured money into it. People that obviously I don't know anyone's financial situation. I'm not going to claim to know anyone's financial situation. For me. Putting a dollar into anything that I don't feel like I'm supported with, I think that's too much. Even even like a dollar in like a vending machine, even losing that one dollar, if I don't feel like I've get, I'm going to get my money's worth with that dollar, I'm very inclined to not spend anything. I look at that same thing with DBO, where a lot of things, especially a lot of things, I'm able to obtain without a significant without a significant uh spending of my wallet and it sucks that a lot of people are looking at this like in order for them to get better at the game they have to use their wallet as a medium to get quote unquote stronger when that the answer it, it sucks because it contributes to it contributes to the player base looking at everything from the lens of the the company is money hungry if you want to know for sure let's see what he has to trade if you want to see what's really going on you should have seen how the top of events were before top of events way back in the day Whenever you put a set amount of money in, so let's say if you put in $5, you would get that disguise guaranteed no matter what. <laughs> Thanks, Que. So, a lot of people want to return to that state where you put in X amount of dollars and you're guaranteed for that item oh let me let me say thanks yo this is crazy i think crazy Knox. he said crazy nicks crazy Knox. but yeah shout out to that bro huh but a lot of people want to return to that state where you put in you put in x amount of dollars and you get that guaranteed i would love for that to return i would actually put in money into the game if i knew that x amount of dollars would contribute to a a guaranteed version of a disguise and i feel like a lot of people would also want to go back to that system the issue is people want to go back to that system but they're spending their money nice but they're spending their money like they don't want that system you can't have it both ways in regards to how you conceive an event, how you perceive an event, I apologize. If I don't like an event, I'm obviously not going to put my time or money into it. What I'm not going to do is hate on an event, but then participate and give all of my time and money and effort. Because of that disconnect from me, the admins, the developers see that, they see all the transactions that happen, and they say, oh, this player must like the event, 
because why else would they have spent so much money, so much time, so much effort doing X, Y, Z? It's because they must like the event at the end of the day. Well, so the admins look at things conditionally. I'm hopefully I'm not beating a dead horse here, but I hopefully I drive this in where spending your dollars means that you like the event. No matter how you look at it, no matter how many times you call T-Mobile, no matter how many times you tell everyone about the event, you putting in your dollars is equivalent to you liking the event, no matter how you spin it. So what does that mean? To put it blankly, if you don't like an event, stop putting your money into it. I, I know that seems shocking hopefully i don't make anyone obviously the goal of this video isn't to like put down anyone obviously do what you want i don't give a fuck what i'm pointing out is we can't call out a company for their bad practices if we're contributing to what if we're contributing to what makes those practices happen in the first place if we're supporting that, why would I support? You shouldn't be supporting something if you don't like it, obviously. But that's the disconnect that we as a community are having. And it, I don't know, it's not my place to say it should stop. But I, if I were to, if I were to vehemently hate on a specific event, I would be the last thing I would be doing is supporting that with my dollar. Uh, but yeah, you are free to choose whatever you want. I don't, I the point of this is to not ruffle any feathers, obviously. It's to provide a perspective of the business side of things. If T Mobile is getting your dollar at the end of the day, they don't care what you have to say. It's only when there is a genuine boycott where T-Mobile will actually sift through and understand what is happening. But yeah, that's about it. So yeah.